Welcome back guys to another episode of Stranded Deep. In this episode, I think I am going to start exporting all our material back to Kawailoa. So I do want to make sure all these containers are filled, take them over, drop them off, bring back containers so that we can fill them up with the rocks, the trucks, the sticks, everything that we have in the area. Because I'm kind of done for right now mining out Sunset Dweller Cave. I do have probably 30% done is my guess of the island. We have this side cleared out, most of that side cleared out. And I do want to chop down this material. Get the yukas. Just because we're going to need the lashing. Here's another yuka. Let me go ahead and get that before we actually start getting out. I mean, we're going to have more than enough. But it's nice to have these extras just in case. Oh yeah, I still got a lot of work on this side too. So, 30% went down to 20%. <laughs> Man, this island's a mess. And I did think about it. If I wanted to have a base here or not, I really don't want to have a base back-to-back -back islands. Like, I would, this place right here would be perfect for a base. Like, maybe like the, make it all over the water here, because we can build all the way across, but I'm not going to do it now. Now that we already have Kawailoa, like, I want to make Kawailoa look pretty cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and check our material. Make sure everything's filled. And I could probably do a better job by making sure we have all the hammers because we can fit four hammers, four batteries, four bandages in each. But I am not going to do that and I didn't check that container. Kind of want to put these in there, but I can't. Go ahead, drop my axe. Just because I can hold one more. All those are empty. Oh, I can't wait to have light over at Kawailoa. Okay, I think we're ready to set sail. Wait, before we set sail. Before we set sail. I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. I did think about what I was going to do, but not really. So I do want to expand on the boat, make it a little bit bigger. We are good on health, good on water. So we should be good by the time we get back here. We need a hammer. Fourteen and one lashing. And I lied. Not organized. Okay, buy buoy balls. Three tanks. Like I do want to try this out here. So let's go get a couple pieces of lashing. Let's shut off our fire. Four, so I can build two here, two here. There's 
something in the way. Nothing's in the way. The ground? Let's go out a little bit. I think there's a crab right there. Nineteen days survived. Oh no, just seeing things. I thought that was a crab. Alright. Let's get our barrels. Give us some extra flotation. So I need one more barrel. I know we had a few extra, right? There's one there. I have tires over there. Okay, gonna go search the island. <laughs> Maybe we're not gonna export too much stuff. I need two more barrels. But I should have brought them close to shore. Here's one, here's two, there we go. Run fast, run fast, and... Don't! Okay, come here. Come back here. Too far. Okay, there we go. Should I put something in front, too? We have two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I kind of don't want to waste the buoy balls because that's quite a bit. Two tires. And good thing we didn't go sailing because we got a storm coming through. So we do need one more tire. a weak throw. Yeah, so glad we didn't go chipping down to this. Or sailing. Getting a little crazy. But it'll give us time to get our raft a little bit bigger, more stability. Okay, gotta go find one more tire. I know we have enough. Don't have my axe. Or I'd start talk, chopping down trees. So we got another barrel, a couple barrels. There we go. I just need one. So I'm only going to expand by two, but it looks like we can expand even more.
So I can s throw all these chests on top of the raft, but I'm scared that if they fall off, or if we flip over, then we lose everything, everything that we work for. So I gotta find a way to like kind of secure it down a little bit better than just setting it on top. Because then really it would only take a couple trips from this island to the opposite island to transport everything. Because right now it's going to take a while. Okay, four bases we need. And I am just going to stick with the wood. Go 12. Got a moth in here, like flying right in front of my face. I do kind of want to make it a little bit longer. So let's go ahead and make it just a little bit longer. We'll stay with the wood in the center. 14 pieces. Because this does seem really, really short. Oh, need more lashing. Four more lashings. Just need to drop everything down. One, two, three, four, five. Bye bye. Get out of my backpack. Okay, storm's about to end. We're close. Kinda close. We're actually kinda far. <laughs> Cause I still need to get four tires, right? Exporting tomorrow. <laughs> we should be able to get one shipment over. One, two. We got more barrels. So I think I'm going to go with the barrels. Barrels in the front. You guys are ready. 
Okay, I really just need one more barrel. And then we gotta build our flooring. Ready for a quick sail. We might have to sail during the night to come back. I'll probably combine this into a couple episodes. Oh, what? this to this or is it just now done for can't destroy this another crafted item depends on it So that was kind of a waste. Hopefully I'm able to attach that, but I'm not going to figure that out right now. Because we really got to get on the seas. Okay, we'll leave the hammer here. Don't need a axe over there. Come on, let's turn. And go. Boom, already crash. Okay, and go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And another crash. Not very good sailors. And I should bring that up. So the trick to turn the boat like really fast is jump, left trigger, and turn. Turn to the right. There we go. Oh, it's turned so much better on the PC. Like it struggled turning on the Xbox. Like I can hold it left right now and it'll like go to Kualoa and then go around to the boss and then go over to, what is that over here? Giant's Leap, I think, just to make a U-turn. It's like so wide. Ooh, and then we're finally going back.
I can't see. So, let's get some light. We need some wood. Add that to our pit. I do need to organize like all this stuff out a little bit better. Drop some of this stuff. Okay, tools, batteries, and we have over here. Oh, we need to bring next episode. We're gonna plant some potatoes and make a potato farm. Drop our medical. Need some water. And no food. I need my knife. Then we can cook some food. Cloth. So let's go ahead, make a knife, maybe, do I got rock? I think I might have used up all the rocks, so I didn't need my knife and axe here. But it's alright, we'll just drop everything off. Getting sidetracked, there's like so much that you have to do in this game. That I get sidetracked really, really easily. I don't stay on point. Uh, back up. Cloth. Ooh, don't run in with fire. Not sure where I'm gonna put my bricks lane station. Do need to organize this out a little bit better, but it don't matter right now. I do want to build a ramp going up right here. Hopefully this doesn't fall in the ocean. I really would like you to... Go to the very edge. Up. Oh, very nice. Very nice.
binoculars, drop down. Okay, so on our next trip back, we need to bring a knife and an axe for sure. Let's go ahead and extinguish this fire. We probably need to bring some wood, would be good. And I know I have a bunch of boxes over there, but I think I'm going to have extra boxes just in case if I need to transport from Giant's Leap to Sunset Dweller Cave and then back over here. Next thing I want to do is also build a mask going that way. I'm not sure if it would work, but it'd be nice to hit it and be able to back out without doing this jump turn thing. And we go. Okay, so we'll see you back on Sunset Dweller Cave. Okay, we made it back to the island. How are we gonna organize this out? Let's go ahead and drop all our empties. So let's start exporting all the sticks over. in the hand. Then we just need to make sure we take back an axe, a knife. I probably should get some food here. down that stick real quick. What? No meat? I can make it back to the island, but we don't have any meat. Which is fine. Should get some meat cooking. But I kind of want to keep my prized possessions here. So we'll fill three more up with just sticks. So that would give me nine total. Three, six, nine. And then I should have one more chest that will be opened up. And then I can put my axe, my knife, and then one other item. Some rocks. Here's the axe.
Like I thought I left the knife right here. It's either right here or inside the cave. Not near the cave. 340. We only got one export out. Not doing a good job. We gonna be fire. Stick and lashing. There we go, got our axe, got our knife. Come on, get that in your hand. I got enough material to make another axe if I need one. I think there might be some stuff in here, but I'm not sure. Let's go ahead. <sighs> Still not ready yet. Getting too far ahead of myself. So I do want to build another sail real quick. We need a cloth, a lashing, two sticks. It should be all emptied to that one. Where was my cloth? Next to that's tanning rack. Did I take all the cloth off? I know I had a bunch of cloth. It should be all sticks. Really need to get this way better organized. Label maker. Shouldn't be over here. Nothing in the cave. Guessing that's all the cloth I have that I took over there. Which is fine. Okay, let's hope that this doesn't fall off. Take that up. Let's pick up all our chest other than the two sticks. Let's drop these. See, it's so difficult to see. It's about to be light. Oh, Paul, Mr. Lantern. Still off. Can be the experts parking this thing. So I do want to drop those really quickly. Go get our lantern. Probably not going to keep it on the ship. I was thinking about keeping it there because it does look cool during the night. There we 
go. Day 20 survived. Okay, very nice. Okay, let's go ahead find our tools. Might as well take these out. Really, really need some food. Then if I really need food really, really bad, I had rations ready. Do you want to get these palm fronds? Because we are going to need water, and I didn't fill it up last night. But our food is the necessity. our knife or our axe okay where am I gonna put all this wood that we're gonna get just kind of thinking of building like a wall here throw all the wood inside the wall So we'll go too wide. And I think I'm going to need way more wide. And I haven't done this before, so kind of making things up as I go. So I'm really not sure how it's going to look. Like, should I go with full walls and then we'll make it like super duper high? No, half the wall should be good because then we can... won't go off to the side. Hopefully I left enough room for the back. And then we can expand it out. Make it a little bit bigger if we need to. But it looks like a pretty good storage place for all our wood. Should have brought a hammer over. I should have brought a hammer over. But yeah, I like that. Looks pretty good. We can get a roof on it, keep the wood dry, even though the wood don't get wet in this game. But we're pretending. is that if we would have made it nice and flat or if the game would have made it nice and flat
Getting hungry, but we're still good. Come on, lay flat. So I think we need it a little bit bigger. But we are out of hammers. Where's all this wet going? Quit flying everywhere. It's gonna be a little bit of a mess. Okay, I remember what I was gonna make. Okay, we got lashing, cloth, Maybe I'm not going to make it. Because I need another hammer. Two rocks lashing. Two rocks lashing. Make a hammer. We need you. Two sticks. I said two sticks. So now if I can put another sail going that way, it'd be super awesome. Man, I didn't want to craft that. <laughs> I didn't want to pick that up. Okay. Drop the bow and arrow. Open. I lost my lash. Dang you, bow and arrow. Okay, if that works, that's going to be so amazing. Yeah, we were starving. It is 2.40. So I'm going to put more food on the Barbie. Looks like we need more water. up. Drop this down. Kind of want to expand on this, but I want to go get one more shipment done. And then we will stay the night here.
do need water. I do want to cut that down. It's bugging me. I do have a hammer, but I'm not going to mess with it. Time to go. One more shipment we're going to do for the day. I don't have real necessity that I need here. Okay, please work. Please work. Undo. Because then getting out of the port is going to be so much easier. Oh, and it works! Like, I can even sail backwards. If I wanted to. But we'll go ahead and flip it around. Sail the right way. So excited for this. I wish I had thought about this in the Xbox version. I did not. Alright, we'll see you back on Sunset Dweller Cave. Okay, we're back on Sunset Dweller Cave. I am not sure what I'm going to take back with me. Another lantern for sure. That's the sign that has just so many. We're not gonna take coconuts. No coconuts. Come on, turn on. Probably fill these up with rocks. Oh, we need lashing material. That's another material that we really, really need. If I need any water, water, we're good. Let's go ahead and fill this up. Or it is full. Took all our fibrous leaves. Yes, we can drop down. I don't trust the shark on here yet. My first hammerhead. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll kind of trap him. I'm hoping we'll trap him. He's kind of being weird right now. He wants to swim away, even though he's been dead for days. Okay, all these are empty. Nothing I need, nothing I need. More lashing material, we could just keep it in there. Okay, more items I don't need. So, what I'm thinking of doing, let's grab our lantern. It's a super dark. Where did I drop? 
Oh, here's my knife. That's where I was looking. Is... Didn't I just have a stone tool that I just dropped down? It said, ah, I don't need this thing. Oh, there it is. So we need two stone tools, a stick. So stick. It is 2036. I'm going to do some quick chopping just because I know that we have some Yuktas ready. And I did use up all my yukas for the island. Oh, I know what I need. I know exactly what I need. We'll go get that. And what is it that you need? You're gonna have to wait and see. It's gonna be coming soon. Yeah, I thought there was another yuka. And I do kind of got to hurry because I'm not sure how long it takes to ship. What are you doing? Come up here. <laughs> Don't get in the way. Okay, chop these down. There's Yuka. What I'm thinking about doing on each of these islands is building a bunch of fish traps and bird snares. So then if we come here, we'll have food no matter what, because I have no food. Even though it's easy to get fish, we'll just have it automatically give it given to us. So this is what I'm looking for, potatoes, because we got to start a potato farm. And it looks like that's all that we got. Because that's going to be our fuel. Probably going to make some plank plots. sets. I am going to leave some rocks on this island. I don't want to take everything. Drop that down. planks to get us started or two 
number three. Okay, hopefully this goes well. Let's go ahead and see how long it's going to take us to get over there. It is 11.40 and we're losing the shark. I hope he doesn't fall off. I would be sad. Stop rolling. Here, we might have to do like a separate trip with him. I don't feel like dealing with him falling off. Maybe when we get a better ship. I need to hit that anchor a little bit earlier than just coming up on shore. And this one. Okay, back on the island, 2.30. So it takes about two and a half hours to travel port to port. Okay, I can add some wood. Got where my wood was. You made a wood pile for it in this episode. How can you forget? One more meat. And we gotta go to bed really, really soon. Two more drinks. Let me fill that up, and then it's nap time. Alright, sleepy sleepy. Hey guys, 6.30 in the morning. We did make a few trips back to this island of Kauai Loa, transporting materials. We still got so much work to do. I mean, we built a wood storage bin. I'm probably gonna expand on this bin here. I'm not even sure if I want this here. This kind of looks ugly here. So I might break up all these woods and Maybe make a connector piece over here. I'm not really sure for our trunks that we're gonna have, as we're gonna have quite a lot of trunks, but then I have this piece here, so I might enclose this off so then our trunks kind of stay in the one spot. I might make the walls a little bit bigger than th this one so they don't go flying everywhere. Uh, a couple other things that we need to do is start planting our plants, find a place where I can plant the plants, which is the potatoes. Potatoes give us gasoline, and then I'm going to need to start making water still collectors, make a few of those so that we can water our plants and make sure that we have enough water for us. I do want to start building in here too, and getting a bed in here. And I really haven't messed around with any of the items as in the Xbox the items were lame so I'm hoping it's not as lame as this and then the other thing that I thought of because I saw the roof is that I do want to put a rope roof shelter over that so then our wood doesn't get wet but yeah we still got a few more transports coming back and forth um, that's going to be in a few episodes, so that's probably like the set of next five episodes of what's going to happen is basically start building off of what we collected from Sunset Dweller Cave onto Kwailoa. 
And with that, this will complete our episode for today. Thanks again, guys, for watching this Stranded Deep episode. We will see you on the next video.